For case 10, we have a patient with new onset left side of weakness and fall. Here you see a CT image through the level of the thalamus. Here you have an axial flare and an axial diffusion weighted image through the same region. These are some projection images from an MRA performed at the same time as the MRI. So your question is, what is the most likely diagnosis? Question B, from what major artery does the vessel for this lesion commonly arise? So this question tells you that we're talking about a vascular lesion. In this case, what we're dealing with is an artery of Percheron artifact, or infarct rather. When you have an artery of Percheron infarct, what you get is occlusion of the artery of Percheron, which is a variant in which is a single perforating artery that supplies both thalami. So what you'll see is infarcts in the medial thalami bilaterally. Patients tend to get gaze, palsy, memory impairments, and many of them can actually be in comas. Uh, this is a schematic uh, from a journal showing different variants uh, for the vascular distribution of this. Uh, so you see the most common variant is this type 1, where you have a number of perforating arteries coming off of the PCA and supplying the thalami. Now you can have variants where both the right and the left come off the same side, so this is like type 2A. Type 2B is the most common one that people are referring to as an artery percheron, in which case there's one artery coming off of the PCA which supplies both uh, thalamic perforators. Uh, in this case, what you have is abnormal flare in the bilateral medial thalami. When you look at the diffusion, you have abnormal diffusion in the medial thalami, which uh, suggests that these are bilateral infarcts. Uh, here on the MRA, what you have is an absent right PCA, so the right PCA is occluded, and which goes along with this because the right artery of Percheron is occluded because it arises from that type of PCA. When you have bilateral thalamic abnormalities, you should think about arterial infarct, like an artery pertron infarct, but there's a number of other diagnoses you should consider. You should consider whether there could be a venous infarct, whether you get a vorticase, press, adem, lymphoma. You can sometimes get diffuse astrocytomas or tumors that are on both, but those are almost always have some contiguous connection. CJD is a neurodegenerative disease, which uh, you can see thalamic uh, flare abnormalities. They tend to not be as abnormal on diffusion. We've already discussed the answer to this question is that the artery arises from the PCA, so your thalamic perforators most commonly come from the PCA. If it comes from one side, that's the definition of an artery perforator.